Alright, hello people, I'm the dude, and this is Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and we are at the Hollowbrook Hotel to kill the Sabbat. That is the plan. Uh, here is the entrance over here. Let's head on up, shall we? Simple vampires, yep, packs like to drink each other's blood or whatever, freaks. I don't know what the hell they're doing, but what was that noise? Let's bust out our gun, just in case. Doesn't look like we're going that way. Goodbye, friend. Oh! No problem. A few bullets here, a few bullets there. Hello there. Oh, what, what's wrong, my friend? You'll be okay. Let me go get some health. Too late. <laughs> oh, you're a fast one. Let's see if we can counter that, shall we? chance to use some of my ammo. Let's see. And a knife. I don't need a knife. Thank you, though. Oh. Probably should have drained that one now that I think about it, but oh well. Oh, here's one right here. Oh, a human. <laughs> Lovely. They brought snacks. Thank you, friend Sabat. I'll let him live. There's no reason to murder the poor guy. He's probably... Okay, sorry about that. Let's see. I think that's all of the Sabat for here. Although they are leaving nice shiny presents all over the place. What is this? Flamethrower ammo, it looks like. Oh, hi there. How's it? You're a big bastard. Let's see. Okay, looks like I'm going this way. <laughs> I don't think so. Raid not. Shooting me through the wall. Or oh. Goodbye. I wonder if we can. Uh, Nom on one of these guys. Here's one right here. There we go. Pretty good. He was just waiting to be nommed on. Who's shooting at me? Just keep busting through walls. Like they're not even there. There you are. Oh. I'm going that way. Let's try this way. Ooh, more food. <laughs> I don't even need it. 
I haven't even been using my powers. I should probably at least be using celerity. Where is the ink? There we go. What the hell? No. Come on. Probably gonna knock down another wall with my guess. No? Okay. Oh. last long. Okay. Is this where I'm going? No, nope, that's a closet. Where the hell am I going? Am I going this way? Don't know. No, I don't even think I can get up there. Okay. Can't go that way. This appears to be a dead end. Oh, here we go. Did not even see this. Let's go ahead and save just in case. These guys aren't putting up much of a threat. <laughs> but, uh, I don't feel like having to reload. In case something ridiculous happens. This is looking like a boss fight. Celerity, save me! Stop moving. Now oh, where'd you go? Oh. I keep getting shot. Where are you, you bastard? There you are. Another one bites the dust. That's still locked, though. Hmm. If I remember right, there was three of them when I first entered the room. Where did the last one go? Oh, here we go. That'll work. I don't know how to ammo. Damn. I didn't even notice. By a gangrel beastard. What the hell? There we go. <laughs> I could not shoot him. Yeah, I'm running out of ammo. That's probably a bad thing. I'll use this one up and then I'll switch to another one, I suppose. Okay, how do I get. Hmm. How do I get over there? He did not want to die. Maybe there was a door back here or something. I don't know. Oh. Oh, great. Hello there, presence guy. There we go. Where did he... Oh, okay. There we go again. They just keep jumping through walls. Everything. 
Could be considered a bad thing. Let's see, is this where I'm going? Oh! Start using our powers to kill these guys. Come on, blood boil, get off timer. Give me some with some range. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. And I'm dead. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll be back again. Son of a... Okay, so I think I'm caught back up. It actually took two tries. I died on the way over here. I've been trying to use the pistol to save ammo for the Styre Aug, which hasn't been working, but oh well. Uh, I think we found some ammo for this, though. Yes, we did. Very good. Uh, I'm going to save it, because it's the flamethrower. Uh, let's try the shotgun. Now that I think about it. Probably not a bad idea. Assuming I'm supposed to be going this way, but I'm not sure. Oh, hello there. Ah, very good. Uh, I found out that you can kill these guys with no penalty for some reason. They are humans, and they're not evil, but yeah, see, no penalty. So I'm gonna go ahead and numb them to death. Because I need all the blood I can get. There are a metric ton of Sabbat in this damn hotel. I don't know how many I've killed so far, probably like 40 or so. And they just keep coming. I'm gonna take every advantage I can get. Hello there, friends. Do a little dodging. No problem. I'm assuming there's more in here somewhere. Ooh, lock picking. Seven skill. What am I at? I'm at five. I can have six with blood buff. If I put one in security, I can have enough. Let's do that. Why not? Let's see what's back here. For the hell of it. It's probably not anything good, but, you know, whatever. Oh, pff, it's just another one of these guys. Okay, well, I'll get some more blood. Why not? Might as well, since they're offering. Let's see, I think I was going this way? No, I'm confused. <laughs> not sure which direction I was going. No, this has got to be backwards. Okay. Oh, right, yeah, this is the room where there was like four or five of them in it. Right, I'm supposed to be going this way, I guess. Somehow I got turned around. What is this? Nothing, okay. Ah, here we go. Elevator shaft. Uh, no promises. They killed Heather, you bastards! You bastards!
Uh, in case you forgot, Heather was the girl we saved earlier in the game. We turned her into a vampire. She's the one that's been hanging out at our pad. Taking up space. <laughs> oh, hello there. Uh, explode, my friends. Goodbye. They both have presents. Sorry, they both, both had presents, past tense, before they got exploded. So yeah, the Sabat kidnapped and killed our, I don't know, girlfriend? Whatever you want to call her. Because they're evil bastards. Uh, this does not look good. Let's go ahead and save. Hmm. Can I even get out through here? Oh, I can. Okay. What the... Oh. Okay. It's gonna explode the whole room, huh? Somewhere I can go that way. Hmm. Shooting at her's not doing much. Oh, I gotta shoot at her from the side. Okay. Blood boil. Goodbye. <laughs> the Sabat had a blood mage. Those dirty tricksters. Let's see, where am I going now? Doesn't look like there's an exit up here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> he like comes running into my arms. Thank you, friend. A little nom here, a little nom there. Between friends, no problem. I don't even need that one. Uh, that's blood boil. And then we'll go back over here and nom on this guy. Oh, they should both be. Oh. Apparently, that other one snuck past. Oh well. And I'm getting really far into this place. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize how huge this place was. It is massive. Uh, let's see. Okay, so maybe this is the last section, hopefully? I don't... don't know. What is this, I wonder? Oh, that's not cool. Huh. Must update it, okay. It's just nasty. Oh, no, Tismis! the smell of your blood, young canine. Very potent. Greater than our last meeting. I could smell it even over the flood of my fallen brethren. Doesn't that make you wonder? Uh, save it, freak. <laughs> Puppet. The strength of your blood is all that saved you from yourself. Wretch. Weak-minded mongrel, the blood is wasted in you. Wasted. <laughs> Puppet for who? Lacroix nines? Uh, let's see. Wasted is what you're you're about to be. Miserable, ignorant gutter spawn. You are blind. The sarcophagus must be destroyed. Interesting. Too bad. Not going to happen. I will do it myself if I must. And you. You will be purified. It is the blood that he is speaking through. The blood of all the pawns. It all must be purified. Uh huh. Uh, finally, let's do this. Ooh, hello there. Celerity. 
Actually, let's get the flamethrower. Whoa! What the hell just happened? Okay. <laughs> I used the flamethrower and I instantly died. Uh. Hmm. Let's try that again, shall we? Gonna have to load back into here, but yeah, I, I'm not sure what happened there. Hmm. I'm gonna try that again, just to see what happens. Because, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not what's supposed to happen. <laughs> I use the flamethrower and then I just explode. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, give me the flamethrower. There we go. Oh, well, that makes it easy. Yeah, he's getting wrecked. I'm out of ammo already. Give me the AUG. Where'd you go, friend? <laughs> Too easy. Flamethrower just annihilated him. I think what happened is I had celerity on. I shot the flamethrower. And I moved faster than the flamethrower flame could flame or whatever, and I walked into it. I think that's what happened. And then I died pretty much instantly. Can I get out through here? Um, yes. There we go. So this is bot or no more, or at least the ones in uh, L.A. We massacred an entire army of them. You stand amongst friends now. Hello, Kuei Jin Mistress, Ming Zhao. Let's see. Uh, it's good to see you, Ming Zhao. I am happy to be received with such warmth. It is encouraging that the tired animosity between our people has not infected your judgment. Well, you know, I mean, I kind of killed some of your people. I figured you'd be the one that was mad, but, you know, whatever. Uh, tired animosity, no. Your agent's blades to my neck, yes. <laughs> you, you've done nothing to earn my distrust, Ming Zhao, other than all the things you've done. A true friend in death is as true love, precious, rare, and sweet. Pray your senses have not gone so languid that this blessing cannot be savored. Okay, that would be nice. We are in a position to help each other, yes. Is it impossible, then, that my admiration is genuine, Kindred? Can friendship truly be founded on nothing? Or must there be nothing to gain in order for friendship to be true? Um, the second one. <laughs> I suppose it's possible. The tongue lies limp and pasty if you're simply dead. Otherwise you would do well to say that these little graces. Your eyes are still able to take in my form and blood still rushes hot to your skin. Must your organs die so selectively? Um, how did you find me here? I watch and wait for the time my path is meant to cross another. The how of it shall be more clear in a moment. Mm-hmm. Don't try anything fast. <laughs> uh... Do your agents do the same? I ran into a couple of them. Indeed. The Chang brothers, my greatest agents, undone by the young soldier of the Croy. It was obvious your path was greater than I or he had anticipated. Indeed. Uh, what's this about an alliance between you and the Croy? We did have an arrangement, the Croy and I. A mutually beneficial pact to drive the lesser factions from the city. Sounds like a good idea. So what happened? LaCroix's zeal in recovering the Ankaran sarcophagus has been to the exclusion of many relationships, mine included. Aww. And I, like yourself, have been used by him in his desperate quest for power. I'm, I'm sad on the inside for you. I really am. Uh, how did he use you? LaCroix feared Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, for the cursed insight of his bloodline was strong and brought him uncomfortably close to the truth about the ambitions. Ah, and so? LaCroix saw an opportunity to rid himself of two problems. A hardened rebel leader and a problematic primogen in one fell stroke. And, as you can see, I was integral to his plan. Yeah, Grout and Nines. Ah, so she's the one that was pretending to be uh, Nines. Right. Okay, fascinating, but why did you agree to do it? LaCroix convinced me that an alliance with the Camarilla could strengthen the position of the Quajin. And so with my help, your prince framed Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout. Right. 
Uh, so you're the one I saw at Grouse Mansion. Yes, you were made to be the witness. For your political naivete put your word beyond reproach. No one would believe you devise such a story. LaCroix used you and once again turned a problem to his advantage. LaCroix is one sneaky little bastard. Uh, smart, so why are you questioning the Alliance now? Our dealings with LaCroix have put his integrity into question. Oh, you think? He has become careless. His desire for the sarcophagus seems to have superseded all other concerns, including political discretion. Go on. It is obvious to me that he wishes to obtain it, only so that he might use its power against those who would oppose him. If he betrays his own kind in these pursuits, can I trust him to honor our allegiances? Can you? Mm, no. <laughs> uh, I see your point, but why do you care about what happens to me? You need to understand that you are a liability, Kendra. Once LaCroix finds the right moment, you will be disposed of, just as he did with Alistair Grout, Mr. Rodriguez, your sire, and countless others. Right. Uh, if the rumor about the sarcophagus are true, it's not going to matter. Hear these words, Kendra. The sarcophagus is sealed against the ages. Only the proper key will break this seal. That key now lies safely in Quajin hands. Your prince's prize cannot be had without it. Right. Uh, that's interesting. I hope you recognize my sincerity, Kindred. I would like to see you reach your destination before your path is cut short. I hope when next we meet, it is again as friends. Okay. I'll see you later. So, Ming had a lot to say, obviously, and uh, we just slaughtered the entirety of Hollowbrook Hotel. Uh, it took three tries, but managed it. Uh, next episode, we'll go, I guess, talk to LaCroix and uh, see what the hell we need to do next. I'll see you guys next time.